worked for him and she knew, I think she was a um, distributor for Japan or something. Okay. And that square people came to San Francisco to visit. They were just starting then, right? Right. I mean, their the, company was brand new. Right, they are. They, they were. And which I, which when I went to Japan, I found out like they only had uh, one game, and they had two programmers, one game or two games, one game I think. Was that before and Final Fantasy One? Yes. The games way okay. before that, Roy. And it was a small company, which I which I liked. Uh, yeah. Um, and actually the. The development system was pretty much like Apple. Oh, really? It was mini assembler. There was no oh, assembler. Oh, okay. I'm happy. So, <laughs> just getting the. <laughs> Did you ever use Merlin or anything like no. that? No. You were always mini assembler. Wow. No always comments. Always mini assembler. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no comments or nothing. <laughs> well, actually, I, uh, on Apple, I think all the time that I did Apple, I never had a printer to even print oh my God. a flowchart right or do anything. It was just. Oh, yeah. it just you just keep it in your head, right? It was much easier to do it in my head, and because I was able to do it fast, if I were to do a game for one month, probably couldn't finish, or a couple of months, yeah. I probably couldn't finish it because I would forget all that <laughs> stuff in my head. <laughs> if it's, if yeah, I, I have to refresh, or I have to go and break my own code to see what I've done. Wow. But, when, you, uh, when you came in tonight, you seemed really surprised by the fact that so many people knew you were new, all of your games, and you said, I didn't realize there was, there was this many people playing my games. Then you have somebody like Mark Turmel, who's a game god, come up to you and just, you know, treats you with that same kind of reverence. So how, <laughs> how does that feel, and, and who do you look at that you think was really amazing? Who inspired you? Um, yeah, because you were at the front of everything. Well, first of all, I'm just honored. At, uh, it's amazing to me that this many people, when John first contacted me, it was so nice of him, the email that he sent me, um, I couldn't believe. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, I was away from game business. I didn't know. I knew of his work, but I didn't know him but by name. And when I found out that this guy is writing all these nice emails to me, I was just amazed. It's just amazing that this many people um, remember. Yeah. I thought I just did some work and entertained people, and it's forgotten by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and actually, John knew more about me and my games, actually my work, than I do. Well, <laughs> it still does. And the legends about the mini assembler. Yeah. About all I mean, the stories it's, that's, and those are the games. That's why people like today are game designers, is because they played your stuff. They had to learn somewhere. You know, they had to play your games and just well, look that, at them and go, wow. 